think the hardest decision I had when I was working out this video and researching it was deciding whether to pitch it at the sneaker heads or the Lego heads. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for the Lego heads because I'm pretty sure that most sneaker heads will know about Lego, but I'm not sure if the Lego guys out there will know the details of the sneaker and what to look for on the sneaker and which parts are important, especially an iconic sneaker like the Superstar from Adidas. It celebrated its 50th anniversary year last year. So here we are, 51 years of his classic silhouette that hasn't really changed a bit since year dot. Uh, and so I think I'm going to pitch it that way. I'm going to talk more uh, as if people out there don't know anything about superstars. So if you are an Adidas head, a sneaker head, and you're looking at this and saying, why is he giving that obvious information? Think about the Lego heads out there and how they probably don't know stuff like this right here. The main thing on the superstar is the shell toe. And that's the big thing to talk about first to get into that point that when we're talking about superstars, the classic element on there is all about the, the shell toe. Basically the whole shoe is usually made of leather and then on the front they have this rubber shell toe that has really really great durability. It's very very different from the rest of the shoe in design and in materials. Now when it comes to the superstars again speaking to those Lego heads out there uh, 50 odd years of history is a pretty long time but the recent history really starts around about 30 years ago with these guys right here. That's Run DMC in the hip hop scene coming out of the US in the mid 80s and Adidas played a big role in that and Adidas superstars specifically played, played a big role with Run DMC and even more specific than that the Run DMC guys wearing Adidas superstars with the laces out was a huge thing boosted the profile of Adidas in the States and of then the, the superstar in the States and then from there the shoe went from strength to strength and it took the brand with it and then here we are today 30 odd years later after Run DMC were rocking them uh, and these guys are now rocking up together with Lego which is a great collaboration I do have to say right now that this shoe is not for wearing and you normally would have to say that but Adidas have put out maybe 10 different Lego collaborations over the last couple of months which are all wearable and they do have some features of Lego on them but they're basically standard leather shoes or material shoes these guys they're a US 7.5 in size but they're not for wearing these cannot be worn I mean if you could try and squeeze your foot into them but as soon as you took a step they would shatter into a thousand little bricks uh, because they're literally made of Lego they're not for wearing it's not shoe to wear um, and uh, so but speaking of the laces though uh, and the laces being out of the uh, the run DMC ones and about wearing these guys the only thing on these guys that is actually wearable and is taken from the actual shoe itself is the laces which is kind of ironic since run DMC uh, who made them probably the most popular sneaker of their time and are most famous uh, tied together with the history of the, the Adidas superstars they wore them without laces so it's kind of ironic that here we are in 2021 and the Lego ones that have come out the only thing on them that is actually real wearable sneaker is the laces themselves so uh, so back to this shoe though back to what we're talking about you've got that whole stuff about run DMC uh, you've got the whole thing about the history of it 50 odd years um, and that main feature on there is the shell toe and what we're looking at right now is a toe close-up so you get an idea of how Lego managed to put that shell toe into the actual toy that is the Lego bricks. Now uh, Lego is from Denmark uh, and I have a brother who lives in Denmark and I think I'm right in saying that he tells me that Lego means play well in Danish uh, and that's a great name for, for a great toy because it's all about collaboration and working well with your peers and being able to share materials if you know what I'm saying so play well uh, and, and the thing about it being in Denmark, Denmark shares a border with Germany and Adidas is a German brand so there's a whole sort of central European feel to the Adidas line and then this superstar is sort of playing on that with that Lego element as well since uh, Germany direct to the north it shares uh, the German north border with Denmark so uh, and this being a Danish brand it kind of ties it all together. So there's your main feature the, the shell toe hopefully uh, that's nice and clear for those Lego heads out there and anybody who's a sneaker head out there that's kind of nodding and going yes that's exactly right right uh, but there's more that goes on on uh, superstars there's more classic bits now if we go and look at the whole shoe 
it's a very classic superstar feel even though it's all made of lego except for those laces um, and uh, there are different ways to play around with uh, superstar in color and in style and uh, where you put different elements on the shoe but this is a really classic white base with the black hits on it and that's been brought right through to this lego shoe and if you go to the lateral side and have a look at the three stripe of branding down there which is adidas's branding style you see that in black on the white upper very much the standard adidas style and then right beside that very much the standard superstar style is beside the third of the three stripes running parallel to it so slightly off straight kind of slightly diagonally you get the superstar branding on there in gold that's the OG way to do superstar branding on an Adidas superstar in gold. Uh, often you'll see these shoes in white like this with black hits or black with white hits. But in either case, the classic OG branding is for it to be in gold. And that's exactly what you see on the side of these guys. Even though they're Legos, they're still st staying true to the OG. Uh, speaking of staying true to the OG, you might as well go up onto the tongues and have a look at what's going on there. Because the gold and black branding up there is also a classic feature of the Adidas superstar and Adidas. And Adidas. Lego have brought that into this shoe very nicely except I'm not a huge fan of the tongues on these they are way too big and chunky and single unit e uh, they kind of stick out like a wing on an airplane in a way uh, and they don't have any of that kind of connection to the shoe that a tongue would have there's no sort of flow between the tongue and the rest of the shoe it's just sort of sticking out the side like some kind of uh, like I say a wing or something like that it actually reminds me of the kind of flaps that would come out to slow down something that's moving really, really fast and then sort of retract again so it's a funny uh, little design element the way that Lego have gone about putting the tongues on these guys but as far as classic OG goes the gold and black branding on white is very true to form and then the last place to go for uh, branding is round to the heels and have a look at what's going on there which is uh, a black branding panel with the white Adidas branding on it. and again this is very much true to that uh, superstar OG feel slight differences in the shape of the panel the black branding a panel is shaped sort of uh, chunkily and uh, much too square for an Adidas superstar to be much rounder with uh, more curves on the edges but when it comes to Lego, Lego is very sort of 90 degree blocks as opposed to curves so uh, it kind of makes sense that this looks a bit squarer and more geometric on the heel branding but still black uh, with the white branding on there which is very much still OG style. Uh, one last thing to look at before we go to the outsoles is if you look at the back of the tongues you'll see there's a little hit of red in there and I'm not sure what that's doing there because uh, if you go back and look at the front of the tongue as you can see it is gold and black and white up there and I don't see any red and then back around to the back and have a look at that little red bit in there but I don't know what that signifies and what it does uh, but it's something to look out for and something to sort of be aware of uh, and like I said the last thing to do on these guys and I forgot to do the box earlier but we'll come back to that uh, the last thing to do on these guys is to flip them to the outsole and what you see on the outsole is the outside edge the underside edge of the Lego blocks and you know the Lego blocks would be smooth on uh, the sort of outside edges and then the top would have the sort of dimples for where you connect it together and the, and the bottom is where it sort of all slides into place but funnily enough for me that kind of styling on the bottom there really represents an outsole it really works as an outsole of a shoe I'm sure it wouldn't be at all comfortable it wouldn't have any grip if you were wearing them as a shoe but as a visual something to look at it really does look like an outsole and does actually work for the narrative of the shoe uh, and I did say that would be the last thing but actually the last thing would be the box so let's go back up and have a look at the box here then I did read somewhere there's something else in the box to do with um, like a little stand a display stand or something like that because these are not made for wearing because they're made for displaying or as a toy then there's a little stand in there that helps you sort of um, stand the shoe uh, out and just sort of display it for people which is great because like I said they're not going to be, be worn so uh, but don't be fooled uh, July 1st is the drop date on these guys but they are not about a shoe to wear um, it's kind of unusual at my channel every single day I do sneaker videos and uh, not toy videos it's not uh, anything else I never sort of drift into the other worlds of uh, fashion or toys or anything like that but when a shoe comes along like this that is a toy first but it's actually tying up to an OG silhouette like the Adidas Superstar brand I kind of have to get into it and play around with it so that's why we're doing this video today uh, but don't don't be fooled like I said it's not a wearable shoe this is not something you can wear uh, and it's not part of the line that's come out recently that was collaborations with the Lego line uh, those shoes were all wearable whereas these guys are basically the toy Lego blocks that you can put together in the shape of a shoe but you can't wear it 
And with that being said, I think that's pretty much wrapping up the video for the t t today. It was a kind of odd one. Uh, July 1st was the one I said, uh, you know, when these guys are going to be dropping, uh, which isn't too far away. I think I'm shooting this video. Um, I wonder what the date is today. I think it's July the... It's not July, it's June. June 1st. Uh, July 1st is the, the drop date, and I'm shooting this video on June the 20th, I think it is. Uh, but it will go up onto YouTube, I think, on Tuesday, which is about the 25th. So about a week before the drop date, which is just where we want to be. Uh, for now, though, it's time for me to just wrap another video up. We're finishing the, the, the content, keeping the, the content coming out, churning it out for you guys every single day. And because I do this every single day, it means I get to see the same thing at the end of every single video, which is that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.